Hello everyone, my name is Alexa and I am the Assistant Head of the Digital Services Department at the Niles Main District Library. Today we are going to be using the tools and skills in the Silhouette Studio software to design our own split monogram. Let's get started. Before we get started designing, we will need to download a bit of software. On any browser connected to the internet, go to the website www.silhouetteamerica.com. On the website's homepage, to the left of the search bar, you will see a blue button that says software. Go ahead and click on that button. There are links on the software page that allow you to download the free Silhouette Studio software for either a Mac or a PC. Once you have the Silhouette Studio software downloaded and opened, we can get started. The Page Setup panel usually opens by default and allows you to set up your workspace. You can adjust your workspace to match the dimensions to your specific project by changing the width and height within the page setup. But for today, we are going to keep it at 12 by 12. To start our split monogram design, we are going to add our letter. Use the font tool on the left side panel and type a letter into your workspace. To choose a font for your letter, we are first going to double click on our letter and highlight it. After you do that, you can choose a font by selecting the font tool on the right side panel. For this example, I am going to use the font Arial Black. Next, we want to resize our letter so it takes up pretty much our whole workspace. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your letter, and with these little white grabber squares, you're just going to click and drag to make your letter as big as possible on your workspace. To better see our letter as we modify it, we are going to fill it in. Double click on your letter to activate it, and then highlight your letter. On the right side panel, choose Fill Panel, and then you're going to select the color black. Click anywhere on your workspace to deselect your letter. Next, we are going to add a rectangle to the letter to help us create the split in our design. On the left side panel, select your rectangle tool. Click into your workspace and draw a rectangle. You can play around with the size as you place it on your letter. Use the fill panel on the right side menu to make the rectangle white. Next, we are going to create the split in our design. Select both the letter and rectangle in your design by clicking and dragging a box around your elements. You can also select all by choosing Control A on a PC or Command A on a Mac. On the right side panel, select the Modify tool. From the Modify tool, select Subtract. You can see that our design has been split by using that Subtract tool. What we want to do is we want to select all the elements of our design again and then right click and choose group. We are grouping the elements so they become one unit. This makes it easier to move or resize the elements. Use your rectangle tool again to create a thick line under the top half of your split letter. Use your fill tool to make the shape black. When you're happy with the size of the line and you've filled it with the color black, right click on the shape and select duplicate. Move the duplicated thick line to the top of the lower half of your split letter. Select your entire design once again. Right click and select weld. Welding makes it possible to cut out elements as a continuous image rather than individual elements. Double check that both halves of the split level have been welded to their respective thick lines we just added.
Again, select your entire design, right click and select group. Now you can see that our design is one element. Now we are going to add text to the blank split space we just created. Use the text tool on the left side panel to insert the name you want to use in your design. Modify the font by highlighting the letters first. before using the font tool on the right side panel. For this example, I am going to be using the font called Marker Felt. Once you've selected a font, go ahead and resize your name to fit into the blank space. Once you're done picking a font, go back to the fill panel on the right side menu and make the fill for your design white. This will ensure that we have welded everything properly. You can see that everything is one element on the top and then one element on the bottom. And then our font in the middle with our name is also a separate element. Now that we have completed our design, it is ready to be cut on a Silhouette Cameo cutter. Remember, if you're using adhesive vinyl, your design can remain how it is to be cut. If you're using heat transfer vinyl, make sure you mirror the design before you cut it. This will ensure that you are cutting the design on the back side of the vinyl where the heat sensitive adhesive is. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can always call the Digital Service Desk at 847-663-6606 or use the chat feature on our website at www.nileslibrary.org.